One of the most heart-pounding, high-stakes moments in Fire Emblem Fates Conquest came from a single decision. I was down to my last move, and if the next attack was ineffective, the legendary hero Marth would immediately wipe out my team. With a 50-50 chance of success, I held my breath, and... Yes! Fire Emblem Fates is built around tense decision-making moments like this, and it's all part of an intricate and addictive turn-based tactics loop. Each choice on the field plays a critical role in how your army develops in the long term, and those developments fit nicely into a neat trickle-down system. As your individual units carry out orders on the field, they not only level up but form bonds. The affinity between soldiers gives you helpful bonus stats when they're together on the field. That adds incredible depth to Fire Emblem's carefully balanced battle system, because attack percentages and damage is affected by range, enemy class, and what allied characters are nearby. And while each class has a specific role in the fight, you can unlock additional perks as your classes evolve, with some surprising effects. For example, whenever Corrin takes a swing at his opponents, his Draconic Hex adds a bonus effect that can significantly reduce an enemy's stats. Or Silas's high-risk, high-reward Vow of Friendship power, which adds additional damage dealt and taken if he's near another main character with 50% or less health. These complex abilities can really turn a fight in your favor when they're used wisely on the right soldier and situation. Strong relationships foster new, more powerful soldiers to join your ranks, and the loop starts over. But permadeath is what makes Fire Emblem's difficult choices feel significant, because all of that progress and their associated relationships can be lost if you chose poorly. You can disable that if you want a low-pressure way to witness the great story between the feuding Hoshido and Nor Kingdoms, but you'd ultimately miss out, since the fear of permanently losing a valuable team member raises the stakes of every choice you make. While the counterpart game Fire Emblem's Fate's Birthright has the same great tactical mechanics, Conquest's tougher 40-hour campaign uses an impressive amount of variety. It really ramps up a third of the way through, as missions throw curveball after curveball to constantly keep you off guard, with unique objectives that turn up the pressure on the battlefield. In one mission, you have to survive 11 turns against a near endless wave of enemies. In another, you have to uncover the identity of a pirate thief hidden in the middle of a larger skirmish before he steals all of your gold. This is a bona fide master level quest edition that feels tuned to challenge veteran Fire Emblem players. You're given limited experience opportunities, since you can't grind and play additional side battles at will the way you would in Birthright. While that might sound intimidating, Conquest plays fair. Each map presents clear rules and allows lots of room for strategy. Fire Emblem Fate's beautiful anime graphics and superb audio are on par with 2013's excellent Fire Emblem Awakening. The distinctly European flavor of the glory-seeking Nor Kingdom contrasts with the spiritual, Japanese vibe of the peaceful Hoshido clan for great-looking, visually distinct battles. The two feuding families kick off a tumultuous and gut-wrenching campaign full of tough choices. Conquest's only slight fumble comes in its new base-building mode. There are some fun ideas that reward smart investment of resources with buffs, but it suffers from a clunky online interface and limited variety. You build shops, monuments, and arenas that double as additional defenses if you're invaded by other players in multiplayer, but there's only a handful of themes to pick from, so they all end up looking and feeling the same. Fire Emblem Fates Conquest is a rewarding and deep, turn-based tactical game with a grand story and characters I liked enough that losing them in combat really stings. The intense difficulty is squarely aimed at veteran players with a satisfying campaign that's full of variety and challenge. And even when a win or a loss came down to sheer luck, I walked away satisfied or eager to give it another shot. For more on Fire Emblem, stick with IGN.